that's what people, you know, I hear people, oh, I don't need microscope, I see everything. I say, no, you need microscope because telogen hair is real. When they grow, they, they, they will just look unnatural. And uh, nice. it's important uh, to have microscope and to have good magnification when you you do your work. I think there are two things that are important uh, in doing good hair transplant is to have proper magnification, good magnification, especially if you're doing white hair, gray hair, you're going to need good magnification and you're going to need the microscope to dissect and make sure that this is a single, true single, this is a, a, a true double, this is a true triple, because if you start plant, placing hairs with a lot of telogen on a temple point and all that, you're going to have problem. A patient will come and say, I'm not happy. Fine. Uh, people may have very good thick density, but uh, they, they have a lot of minyak in the donor. So they may experiment a good growth in the aftermath of the transplant. And then all of a sudden, they just start seeing the hair falling out without right. a lot of explanation. And, um, but I think uh, from my experience, what I've seen, almost every patient that have this happen, when I go back and check the, the chart, they have 15 to 20% miniaturized hair in the donor. So that's the reason why I have started counting miniaturiz miniaturization percentage on each consultation. I use photo finder to do dermoscopy and trichoscopy on all the patients in consultation. And then I just count the number of hair they have. I count the density, the number of follicular units per square centimeter. So I can have what divided, I can have the average hair and then I count all the miniaturized hair. So I can basically know uh, how many percentage of miniaturized hair I have in the donor. And what I find out, when people start getting close to 20% of miniaturization in a donor, they may have this problem happening to them regardless. Why uh, some people have miniaturization, why some don't have, it's a very interesting question what we did we did uh, some biopsy of a patient with miniaturization and uh, what we find out that and we did a control group and we found that there is inflammation in most of this um, uh, biopsy a specific inflammation like you see in a biopsy of androgenetic alopecia okay. so maybe there is something there and that also showed that the whole idea of uh, the donor area being permanent may not be permanent in everybody yeah. thank you so much for watching our videos and for more great content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also go to www.bhrclinic.com and start your journey for a free assessment with Dr. Bazanga. Thanks ever so much. Let's get started together and look forward to seeing you soon.